Poly Karpov I-187 is the unofficial designation assigned to two different versions of the Poly Karpov I-185 fighter. The first model emerged as a development of the first I-185 prototype, designed with the M90 power plant in the workshops of factory number one. The second prototype received the serial number number 6202, being unofficially known as I-187. Unlike the original prototype and based on a request from the Aeronautical Industry Commissioner, the plane was equipped with an M81 engine with a takeoff power of 1,500 horsepower. The new aircraft was characterized by the introduction of a larger diameter Naka cowling with a skirt type cooling system. The projection of the new modification began in July 1940 and the project was approved on November 27. The performance calculated with this engine was lower than that of the model with the M90 engine. The plans established that this prototype should be ready by the end of 1940. On December 10, the first tests of the engine were carried out, but some problems arose. On December 21st, it was necessary to change the reducer shaft and perform the tests again. Only on December 25th could the engine be operated without problems. On December 30th, the commission met to authorize the first flight of the I-187. As a result, the plane was considered ready and the takeoff date was approved. On January 9, 1941, test pilot Yulyakin made the first runs on the runway, and on January 11, the I-187 took off for the first time. On January 12, the second flight would take place. The pilot's opinion was good, the plane behaved normally in the air and no warning signs such as creaks or vibrations had appeared. In a dive, a speed of 600 km per hour was reached. The landings were good and easy. The factory pilot, Comrade Lajanov, flew the plane on January 30 and also gave a good assessment of the aircraft. Yulyakin would fly again on February 6. On February 28, when Lajanov was making a takeoff run at Moscow Central Aerodrome behind an Ilyashin DB3F, it accelerated abruptly and the airflow affected the propeller of the I-187, deforming it slightly. The aircraft was soon repaired and flight testing continued until March 18, 1941, when the M81 engine failed. Up to that point, 16 flights had been carried out and although it had been impossible to measure all the performance, the maximum speed at sea level reached 495 km per hour, which brought it quite close to the 500 km per hour previously calculated. Unfortunately, news would soon be received about the cancellation of the development of the M81 engine, so the flights were necessarily stopped. The second model with this name would emerge as a continuation of the development program of the I-185 fighter. On February 28, 1943, Polly Karpov proposed the project of the modified model I-187, designed to use the reinforced M71F engine with takeoff power of 2,200 horsepower. This model stood out for its reduced weight, the introduction of a new bubble-shaped headlight and front with straight armored faces, a new hood of original design with mobile front doors capable of combining excellent aerodynamics with the necessary cooling capacity of the engines. The armament had also been reinforced by the introduction of a fourth 20mm Schwack cannon. This project was presented together with the I-188 version equipped with the M90 engine as variants of the same airframe. In the descriptive report on this proposal, Polykarpov wrote, in relation to the engines, we have tried to prepare the I-187 in such a way that when using the M71 engine or the M90 engine, 
only the power bank is modified, so that the entire airplane from the first frame and all the weapons, it remains unchanged. This decision simplifies the serial production of I-187 aircraft with these two engines. The I-185 fighter with the M-71 engine had a speed of 621 km per hour at sea level, and between 663 to 670 km per hour at 3,400 meters of altitude. At an altitude of 6,250 meters, between 710 and 718 km per hour had to be reached. With the use of the reinforced M71F engine, the maximum speed was to remain similar, but the speed at sea level was increased to 650 km per hour, and at 3,400 meters it reached 709 km per hour. With Polykarpov's death this work was cancelled.